117 divided by 9. So I have 100, and I have a 10, and I have a 7. That's 117. Um, now what I want is a rectangle with 9 on one side and whatever else. We don't know what. We're going to put it there. Something else on the other side. Um, first thing I'm going to need to do is trade my 100 for... Ta-da! 10 tens. So, still have 117. 117. But now, I can take nine of those tens and turn them like that so that I have, I have nine on that side. And can I do that again? No, I can't. I don't have enough. So, I have nine on this side, and what do I have on this side? Ten, right? So I have ten on that side. Put the one in the ten spot. See, it's right again, uh, right above this ten spot there. Okay, so how much have I taken away? What's ten times nine? It's ninety, right? So I had 117 down here, and I took away 90. So to represent that with symbols, do that, minus 90, okay? And what do we have left? 27. So now we have 27 here. We want to make a rectangle with 9 on one side and something else on the other side. So we're thinking 9 times what is 27? And hopefully your students will automatically think 3, 9 times 3. So they're going to trade 3 9s for the 27. Still 27, just looks different. Okay, so then we can bring this up here, and we have made a rectangle with 9 on one side, and what on the other? 3 on the other. Put the 3 in the 1's place. And so we had 27 down here. How much did we take away when we made a rectangle? We took away 27, because 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract that. How much do I have left here? Nothing. Big ol' zero. So the answer, 117 divided by 9. What's the other side of my rectangle? 10 and 3, 13.